Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I have a reading for Pisces for the first half of September 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. To my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yes, this is for Pisces for the first half of September 2020. These are the cards I'm using. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these cards have been pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and get that extra shuffle in just so we can get the general energy of today's reading. This is for Pisces for the first half of September 2020. Also, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. I forgot to mention that, sorry. Okay, this is for Pisces, and general energy is Five of Swords. Whoa. Pisces, someone is not being honest with you. Someone is not being honest or telling you the truth about something, right? The Five of Swords, to me, is that's a liar card. That's a card when somebody can't completely tell you the truth or maybe they're withholding the truth from you. Yeah. Now, it could be that there's competition here, competition for material gains or recognition, right? You may want to be uh, expanding your business or something like that. And there might be a holdup if you do have a business, right? But it can also uh, indicate that the business that you're in or that you're starting or that will you are you know working on, it will improve. But you got to watch out for the people in the background trying to bring you down. That's right. So let's go ahead and let's try to, uh, or actually, let's go ahead and get three cards for Pisces. Oh, this is for the first half of uh, September 2020 for Pisces. September 2020 for Pisces. First half of September 2020. Okay. We got one, two, and three. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have, ooh, we have the death card. Wow, so something's definitely coming to an end, and it might be, be because of those lies. You might realize something and say, you know what? I'm good. I am good, and I'm going to move on. Um, I do see here uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and you may be working on something. Okay, you may be working on your craft, um, working on, you know, it could be anything, you know, you could be working on art, you could be working on music, you can be working on whatever um, you feel, you know, makes you happy, working on yourself, right? I also see the world, and there is going to be an ending to a cycle. Yeah, the cycle is coming to an end, but it's kind of like you're saying so long, you know, I, I kind of feel like you're okay with it. All right. Now we do have the page of wands here, and that's telling me that you are ready for a new adventure. You sure are. You're ready for a new adventure, ready to test something out, try something new. And, you know, you're just ready to go. So let's go ahead and find out what is this Eight of Pentacles doing here for Pisces? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces? Why is this Eight of Pentacles for here for Pisces? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces? Okay, so starting out here, we have the Six of Wands, all right? And it's in the reverse, though, so there is no victory here um, in regards to working on something, okay? So maybe you tried to work something out with someone, and you're finding out it's not going to work out. You don't like what you see. You don't want to do this. There's no victory here, and you might even be feeling a little left out in the cold um, because of this, but, you know, it's just a stepping stone in life, Pisces. There may have been some competition here, and, you know, if, uh, if there is, don't worry. Just get up and try again in whatever business venture you're trying to deal with. Now, if this happens to do with love, Pisces, um, I'm feeling like there's a lot of competition um, in 
regards to this and that there's no victory here and you are feeling left out in the cold. So, I mean, whatever you were trying to work on here, if it was with love or whatever like that, I think you should let it go. If it has to do with working on yourself, working on your craft, I suggest you keep going. Okay. Don't give up if you fail once. Okay. When it comes to love, if there's a lot of competition, you shouldn't have to deal with competition when it comes to love. There should be zero competition. All right. And if there is, let it go. Don't waste your time on that. It's not worth it. It's not wor why you got to fight for love. Right. Fight for something you believe in, your craft, whatever your business is. Fight for that. But if you have to be in competition with others just to get love, leave it. Leave it alone. You don't need that stress in your life. Stress is the number one killer. Leave it alone, Pisces. All right, we have the world card here. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here for Pisces for the first half of September 2020? Got the Ten of Cups. The world card, world card. Why is the world card here for Pisces? We got the six of cups in the reverse. One more card for Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces. One more card for Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces, please. There it is. All right. So when it comes to this world card, what's coming to an end is some sort of happy family, happy home situation, right? Because there was no love there. There is no love there, Pisces. There's none. All right. Uh, you may have had it in the past, but it's it's faded away. It's totally faded away. You might be waiting to separate yourself from this situation. All right. What else do we have here for the Page of Wands? What else do we have here for the Page of Wands? Page of Wands for Pisces for the first half of September 2020. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands. And the reason why you're going to take a new journey or take a new leap of faith or go into another direction is because you found out some truth about a family situation, a family situation that failed. Yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, we do have a King of Swords here, air sign. You could be dealing with an air sign, Pisces, or you could have air in your chart. Um, you may have realized the truth or somebody brought the truth into you about an air sign. Okay, that could be it too. You could have had feelings for this air sign in the past, but this person left you out in the cold and showed you no love. We also have the Six of Pentacles here. Uh, somebody was giving to two. Somebody was giving their love or their time or their efforts to another individual besides you. So it was a competition situation. You were waiting possibly for it to end, but it didn't. And there it is. And you found out the truth about this. Now we do have the Ace of Wands here, okay? And this is telling me even though that someone lied, a situation came to an end. There is new passion here, all right? And that could be for you working on something because you are definitely letting this go. But I'm telling you, I'm feeling like you're okay with it gone. You know, you're just like, you know what? I'm good. That's cool. You know, they want to do that. They want to go there. I'm cool with that. This is too stressful for me and I don't need that stress, right? And I think that's the uh, energy that you're picking up. <clears throat> all right. So let me get three cards here for Pisces. This is for Pisces. For the first half of September 2020, for Pisces, for Pisces, for the first half of September 2020, Pisces, for the first half of September 2020, for Pisces, this is for Pisces. Let me move this card over here. All right. <clears throat> Let me get uh, two more cards for Pisces, please. Two more cards for Pisces. Two more cards for Pisces. All right, there we go. <laughs> they came out flipping out all crazy. All right. <clears throat> so this one was, for, I don't know which one was first. I'm going to put this here. Okay. I think that's that was first. So let's see what this is. Darkest fears. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that you simply loved, you know, whatever it is you're working on, but, and you may have even wanted some sort of victory in it. You were maybe working on a relationship and you were just simply wanted to love somebody, but you know, somebody opened up about something or you may have opened up about something and said, Hey, you know what? 
I know we had this going on, but I'm not feeling the love anymore. And I don't want to wait around and, and, and see, you know, failure or, you know, I don't want to wait anymore. So you are definitely opening up to somebody telling your true feelings about how you feel about something. And that's, you know, that's Pisces. Pisces is very emotional. They tell, you know, they're not afraid to say, hey, I love you, male or female. <laughs> they are not afraid. Uh, they are a very loving sign. They love men. They love women. Nothing weird like that. No, no weird stuff. No, no, you know, um, LGBT, but you know what? I'm going to be straight with you. That's okay over here on my channel, but this is what's happening here. Okay. You know, yeah, you could be dealing with, um, two females, two males or a male and a female. My channel, that's quite all right here. I don't, you know, I don't discriminate against anybody because this is just all energies, right? So what I'm feeling here is you're opening up to somebody and you're telling them, you're really telling them how you feel because maybe the person that you're dealing with is not good at, you know, expressing themselves. They just do things hoping that everything's going to be okay. But no, you are more mature. You like to discuss things. You like to get things out in the open, you know, and this is excellent. Now, your darkest feel, fear is change, I think, here, Pisces. You've been so used to something for so long that you fear change. And um, I think this is something that you're going to need to work on for yourself. And I do feel that it's going to happen for you, but it takes time. All right, you are coming to the end of a cycle here, coming to an end of a cycle here, and coming to an end of a cycle here. So you're going through three different types of transformation in your life right now. And you know what? Just go with it. Go with the flow. And my suggestion to you to keep you, you know, um, on a higher vibrating energy is just be positive. Just be grateful. Okay. I know people are like, oh, it's so hard to stay positive all the time. You know what? It's not. It really isn't. You know what is really hard and, and we have become and it has become so easy for us to do is to to always accept fear into our life, accept unhappiness right? It's kind of like people have a hard time having joy and harmony into their life. And that's backwards. That's ass backwards. That's not the way it should be. We should, it should be easy to, um, receive happiness, joy, and harmony in our life. And, and inviting people in who are vibrating at a low energy, those people who keep the earth's vibration low, those are the people that you want to stay away from. You want to stay in, in contact with people who are happy and joyous and, and, and look on the brighter side of things. So you might be, and you know, Pisces, you always do that normally. But if you're surrounded with these negative energy people, these people are going to keep you down. They're going to withhold you from finding your passions. You know, they're going to withhold you from working on your craft and for being that free spirit and that person who loves new adventures. Right. So I do see that you are going to put an end to something completely, putting an end to this cycle and saying, you know what? I have the rest of my life to live and I'm going to live it happy. I'm going to live it in harmony and I'm going to be joyous. And that's what I feel here for you to, um, for the beginning of September, Pisces. And I know that you can do it, all right? So, Pisces, if this resonated with you in any way, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, we do like that equal give and take relationship over here. Plus, it's good for your personal karma points. Yeah. Also, don't forget to keep a true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And you know what? We want harmony and joy in our life, and that's what we're going to get. <laughs> right? Just be grateful and everything will be A-OK. -okay. So with that being said, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will speak to you next time. Bye.